stop a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Oh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horses like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Ah! Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Well, let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. 
Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Sure, I, I saw something. Must be going crazy.
I'm gonna douse this too. a fat cigar. I got the redhead! Oh, deal with these fellas. You keep warning. You ain't leaving here. You got some horses from the stables. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. This is bloody hot. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. Yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure.
Here we are. Home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on? Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Arthur! Arthur! What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunts. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So? I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. 
And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Just up here. Hold. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What do you think? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? Found anything? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, I guess maybe uh, 12 hours. Come on. Come on, before they get too far ahead. the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see. Bonnie staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight. I swear. 
talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We Track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. These tracks lead into the forest here. Hey, I can see more tracks this way. The tracks head up that path. Easy. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. All right. That should do it. Let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. I learned that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line.
That must be it. Easy. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. See something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <laughs> He's mine. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that far. Come on. for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat Get up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, I guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right.
Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Is my company... You okay? Ah. Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Why, hello. Come on in. Just holler when you spot a winner. Fine choice. How about we get back to you? I could put some sights on that if you're interested. If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Chose well. Interested in a stock? Could put some carvings on it, too. I have one myself. I outfitted the sheriff and all his deputies, you know. Yes, sir, I did.
I can rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. Had to have it, eh? Hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. All right. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. <clears throat> hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. See Mr. Banks across the way there? He ain't the friendliest at first, but he's nice enough when you get to know him. I can improve the accuracy of that, you know. Shows well. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Had to have it, eh? Interested in a stock? Could put some carvings on it, too. I have one myself. Weapon's only as good as its stock. Got some fine ones cut just for it. Fine choice. Now, I do have some foreign-made iron when it's quality, but here in Rhodes, American is preferred. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. I have one myself. Hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. Hmm. Shows well. That could really shine with some carbon in it. Always happy to help.
Sold a shotgun to a hunter last week. Made near twenty dollars in sales to the butcher this week alone. Where's my cut, huh? <laughs> Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. I'd keep away from the butcher's sausage. There's a reason he keeps the price so low. Good. Like what you see? I'm a bit of a hunting enthusiast, as you may have surmised. Fine choice. All right. Had to have it, eh? I have one myself. Chose well. Wait to give this a try. Thank you. Newspapers. Hello again, mister. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Okay. Take a browse. One of my hogs crushed half her piglet. Ain't nothing there. Yep. Here.
what's caught your eye. How's your look? Mmm, good choice. Armat always has a solution. Okay. Seen what you're after? Well... That's popular. Yep. Always running out of that. Place going plumb crazy. Something else you're after? Goodbye. How's your friend getting on with those new clothes? Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion. But each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now. But I've had my share. Anyway. Welcome back. Terrible thing what happened to the parlor house. No surprise the Braithwaites were behind it. Take a study. Thanks, partner. Coming here with that? That was unbelievable.